I'm Krista Wagner, also known as Vera Mysteria, and I am the guru at Sign of Beast Burlesque Productions. Up until recently, they've been heavy metal productions, but this last one we did was a David Lynch themed production. And I still can see blue through my tears. Um, Rocket's actually my co-producer uh, at Sign of the Beast Burlesque Productions. She has her own production company called uh, Go Go Rocket Productions. In that footage, you can't really tell, but she was so nervous to sing. That was the first time she'd ever featured her voice, and uh, during rehearsal, she couldn't stop shaking. So, she's a she's an amazing, amazing woman, a Renaissance woman. Baby Lestrange. Baby Lestrange is part of the Rose City Shimmies, which is a local. I think of them as a as a Portland burlesque gang. There, I think there's about five girls that are part of that. Some of which are featured in our shows and have been featured in our shows before. And, but Baby Lestrange, she always brings it to the table every time with these kooky ideas and an amazing execution, costumes that are just exactly on point. She's amazing. <laughs> How did you get in my house? You have me. It is not my custom. Who are you? <laughs> Ricky Barney kills me. Ricky Barney kills me. She is amazing. She's this, this dynamic woman who's this force to be reckoned with. She's fabulous. Um, the person who is in the clip with her is John Renner, who is a friend of hers, and they're both involved in local theater groups. And, when I had talked to her about doing the show, she said, I really want to do reenact some scenes. And that was the first one she said she wanted to do. And I'm so glad she did it because it's amazing. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Mandy Stockholm is a good friend of mine and uh, she is a dancer. She's been performing around Portland for a little while as a stripper and it's, it's been pretty common in my experience. I worked in strip clubs for about five years as a DJ to meet girls who really want to get out of just dancing in strip clubs and who want to try burlesque and she's a prime case of that where she's super theatrical, she loves costumes, wants to get out, wants to perform and is a wonderful performer because she's willing to do practically anything. She'd never heard of David Lynch before. So when I asked her to be a part of this, she said, well, what do you want me to do? And so we sat and we watched uh, The Elephant Man. And in the end, I was like, well, I want you to put a bag over your head. And I want you to dance around. And uh, can you tap dance? <laughs> Hi Fleisch um, is a local burlesque performer who's also a part of the Rose City Shimmies. She is just this classic, stoic, Uma Thurman looking beauty who uh, has got these really creative acts and her costuming is always superb. Um, the performance that she did was the different stages of Laura Palmer from Twin Peaks and so she came out in, Laura Palm in the Laura Palmer Twin Peaks prom dress with, with the sash and then went to the one-eyed Jacks stripper costume-esque and um, was uh, giving a lap dance to Bob, which is actually played by her boyfriend, <laughs> which I imagine would be a little bizarre on stage, and then ended wrapped in plastic. It's raining right now in Portland. I don't know if you noticed that or not. It makes my log wet. When it gets wet, it makes me very dirty. And I like dirty things, dirty minds, laundry, souls. It was so much fun. It was a blast. It was completely improv. I had no time at all to figure out what I was going to do. I had my costume down, I spent so much time on the costume, and as soon as I got that done, I, uh, I thought, well, I'll just wing it.
and and I did, and luckily it turned out awesome. important for me to have the last performance be sort of a high note because not having seen a lot of the other burlesque performances I didn't know how dark they were going to be and I wanted the audience to leave in a sort of upbeat more of a mood it was without a doubt <laughs> the most fun show I've ever done.